key components to the uh, slew bearing gear. So starting off from this end I guess, um, this will be mounted onto the track frame. Okay, so he'll be looking down and sat on the track frame, nuts holding it on there. Um, notice that there's four larger holes in this ring of smaller holes. So these are 1.6 I believe and these ones are mm, 4 millimeters, and that will allow these nuts to pass through. So we've got the track frame bearing fixture. This is the inner inner race uh, lower inner race top and it's recessed in to accept the ring gear leading on to the slew motor housing so the slew motor when it arrives um, will be housed in there and it's just a case of unscrewing the two M2 bolts, taking the end cap off, inserting the motor inside, um, the output shaft will protrude out through and the pinion gear fits on the end of the 3mm shaft with a, a two M2 Allen screw, screws down to the flat on the motor shaft so it's a D shaped shaft on the motor. Moving through to the other section now which is the the piece that would um, bolt onto the underbody. So this is the ring he would sit inside the body that's threaded and this ring here would sit outside of the body and the body would be sandwiched through so that frame would bolt together like so but in actual fact these bolts would be on the underside so it would be bolted up through like so so that will be the bearing, the outer bearing carrier or fixture. Then moving on to this section, which is the bearing outer race. Uh, four millimeter ball bearings. So what we're going to do now is to assemble this bearing. I'm armed with a pack of silicon grease and I'm going to run some grease around the outside fit half of the inner track probably starting with that one with that on top um, then laying that in the middle and then feeding all the ball bearings around so we'll clear the decks and start assembling this bearing. Okay we start off with the uh, ring gear and these have got countersink holes through um, and so we start with pushing that through and into the recess of the inner ring half, uh, half race. Okay so We've got the half race there, gear through, and that should sit flush into there. Um, I shall, off camera, I shall insert four screws posing each other, and uh, then put that face set down like that with the screws poking up. Okay, so I've removed all the bolts from the outer race um, and I've pre-greased 
the race as well, ready for the ball bearings to go in. Um, I've only done this for convenience really because it's going to start getting messy now with and slippery with this um, silicon grease. Um, but I've just left one in situ there just to give me something to get hold of. Uh, what I'm going to do now is feed each one of the wall bearings into the outer track. Um, and I've, I've put the ball bearings in the, in the middle just to stop them rolling away from me. Um, it, it's a fiddly little job, but I'm sure there's other methods to uh, do this. But uh, this is my method, so what I'm doing now is working away around the track, feeding each ball in and uh, feeding it into the track until it's uh, completely round. Okay, so I've got the all the ball bearings preloaded, um, so it's now ready for the other half of the inner race. Um, again, it'll probably be something I've got to do off camera um, because the camera's in the way for a start off. It makes it really awkward coming in from the side. Um, but the next game of play would be to put this on put on the four nuts to hold it together then I can pick it up and feel it so I'll come back to you I'll move the camera <laughs> okay so I've now got the uh, bearing together uh, there's 50 foot 50 ball bearings in there four millimeters um, and the two inner race halves are screwed together um, so the bearing is as one. Right, uh, back to this hub here. What I've done now is to reinstall the 16 M2 screws um, prior to fitting it to this ring here or this flange. So this flange will actually um, screw through or screw into the upper body so um, I need to do this prior to fitting that because after this is fitted I won't have access to these screws okay so I've just uh, tightened all these allen screws up and uh, we've now got the flange the mounting flange attached to the outer bearing so these these holes are threaded all the way through so it was a case of screwing these down through so that will flush with the underside and then holding the two together and starting the threads to to actually screw it together um, so that's threaded in its entire length of the screw um, there's no gaps in between so it's sitting there nice and flush uh, and square so it's actually held square onto that flange um, so the other side of that you can see the screw and the ring of screws to attach the other flange to um, so I needed to get this on first so that this has got a raised head on it and when those two are together like that you'll see there's just enough clearance for the head of the bolts to rotate around without failing each other so um, you can imagine with this flange bolted together there's no way that you can access these these bolts so that's the way to install it to actually put it together so next move now then would be to continue on and uh, put that flange onto this this face here uh, this the bolts here can be accessed from the outside so this is where it would screw to the main body. 
uh, and I've got a locking ring the other side that is threaded so that's how this would be attached to the upper body um, and we've got the rotating part of the bearing on the inside with the gear on it so that's how we you'd actually turn all right so we've finished uh, the assembly of the bearing uh, we've got the flange attached to the outer ring and we've also got the lower flange the flange that attaches to the uh, track frame and we've got all the the ring of nuts that hold this track flange on and also hold the bearing together so the four bolts here one two three four are the original uh, four bolts to hold together the two inner races so they were allowed to pass through this flange so they're not part of holding the flange to the inner track um, it's it's just a way of assembling so uh, this is ready now to attach on to the the body so that's that's the next move would we'll screw this in up to this flange okay uh, 